Okay guys, so as requested from a lot of you, um, I'm finally making a video with benchmarks that would be displayed on screen starting with the um, MSI Afterburner. Now, let me just, I just want to tell you guys this, that I'm not the kind of the person who uses uh, these programs like the MSI Burner, uh, Afterburner or the, um, the Fraps and everything all the time. But I'm the kind of the guy who, like, I used to use fraps, but only, like, just a few times in the beginning when I got my old laptop, but that's it. I had not used, fra or used even fraps after that. Now, just doing this so I could test this out for you. Keep in mind that I have been gaming on my laptop for today for three hours straight up, and now I'm just making this video with Assassin's Creed. I was trying to work it out with the uh, with Crisis 3, but... The game that I bought had some bugs in it, so I had to return that. So, But I thought it would be better if I can just go with the Assassin's Creed rather than going with any other game since all of us know that um, Assassin's Creed Odyssey is one of the most uh, uh, hardware and graphic demanding game ever. So, right now, we do not, we do not have our cooler boost on right now. My fan speed is at auto. You guys can see my GPU temperature up on top. You guys can see my uh, RAM usage up there. And you guys can see frame rates. And you guys can also see the CPU temperature. Now, as I said, I have been gaming for about three hours right now. What I'm going to do is I am going to put the... Um, uh, the uh, let me just... Wow, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the cooler boost on. And uh, of course, it's gonna rack up our fan on full full throttle mode. So um, of course, we'll have some fan sound there. I believe you guys will be able to hear it, and I want you guys to hear it, so you would know how much the fan noise could be at at full throttle. So other than that, you guys will see how the temperature can actually drop with it. I'm just gonna go ahead with it right now and show you guys. So. Okay, so I just turned on the um, the cooler boost and let's see how it goes. I'm gonna play the game for about five minutes or so. Try to keep the video short but detailed as much as I can. And one thing I want to let you guys know, like we have been telling you about ROG and everything. Trust me when I tell you guys, I love ROG. I love ASUS. I, I just love their products. They look amazing. They have done so much for gaming and, and computers and stuff. I just love them. I really like the look of them. And they have been like my first love, if you can say. Like, you know, if you go in, in PC gaming and laptop gaming. I took a chance with MSI. And I'm actually happy with my chance that I took. I am not disappointed at all. One thing I would like to say is that I was actually leaning towards ROG. But... The ROG that I found at that time did not have the 10 generation processors in them. Uh, they're, if I'm right, they're still not out for sale. They're still gonna they're still gonna take about five to six business days to be out, or maybe just start next week. They're gonna be on sale. So considering that, of course, and then one more thing that ROG was actually a bit more expensive than this laptop. At least f for me, I was gonna have to pay at least. $400 more and I did not want to do that if I could get almost the same not even almost like exactly the same hardware specifications so why not and of course I went with MSI now the thing that I want you to guys understand is that I'm not trying to influence anyone's decision here I'm just trying to I started doing these videos and these reviews because when I wanted to look when I like when I went in to look for um, like you know information on the uh, 10th generation mobile processors from Intel and uh, with the RTX 2070 technology, I could not find any videos. Everything I saw was for 9th generation. And so that is why I decided that I'm going to do reviews so I could maybe help people make a better decision or actually see what the performance is or how is it different. And yes, I have used a 1660 Ti with 9th generation laptop for a few weeks you can say and trust me this looks a lot better than that this feels a lot better than that this is a lot cooler than that and of course i have not used the um uh the uh the uh, yeah sorry the the liquid coolers but 
as far as I can tell, like all the all the simple fan coolers that I've used, this is one of the best I would say. Um, considering that it has seven heat pipes in it, as I've already been told by one of uh, one of my uh, one of my peers here who who was commenting, telling me that um, uh, more pipes does not mean better cooling. Um, you might be right. I'm not. I'm not gonna argue with that. Of course, like you know, you, you had your experience as well, and I would. I would want to consider that, and I'm gonna keep that in my mind. And uh, whenever I have to make an decision, or like you know, maybe down the road when I'm like testing my laptop, or like when it's seven, eight months old, you know. So I would want to keep that in mind, so I would know what's happening here as well. And but as of right now, it's been what ten days since I got this laptop, and I started gaming the very first day, so it has been oh, good since then. So, it has seven cooling pipes, it is doing well for me, even the exhaust on the right and left does not feel that bad, and as I, as I told you guys, I have turned the, the, the Cooler Boost 5 on, and that is, and I was telling you guys that it, it would be at full speed for my fan, and I just realized that I have still set my maximum fan speed to 70%, so even this is not the full fan speed that we're going on right now. But I just want you guys to get an idea of like, you know, what this is for now. And yeah, like if anyone wants to get ROG for sure, get it. And once you do, like do a benchmark. And I'm, I'm not the kind of the person who's going to be like, oh yeah, like show me or I won't believe. Because I'm not, I'm not trying to compete with you or anything. Of course, we're just like trying to like, you know, share information so we all could have a um, better understanding of what's going on with the products that we're buying, right? So whatever your benchmarks or whatever your average frame rate, your average temperature and everything comes out to be, share it up in the comments and um, for sure we'll just compare products there, compare our results there. And again, because like it's it's not anything like I know I know that you guys would know that I'm not trying to like you know I'm not being offensive here or anything, but just wanted to put it out there that there's nothing uh, like that in my mind that oh yeah my laptop is better or stuff. I'm just not that kind of a person. So and I'm 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 like by actually amazed by the technology we are getting every day, you know, like so. Sure. Just uh, when you do your benchmarks and stuff, drop it down there. Like, you know, drop on your drop, drop it down in the comment section for sure. We're, we're gonna like you know how it is. And as you guys can see, my temperature have not uh, GPU temperature went down to 76, and I would say it's staying stable at around 76, 77. And again, be wary that it is after three hours of excessive gaming. Uh, I was playing uh, Star Wars Jedi, and I was also playing uh, Forza Horizon 4, and uh, I just started this game because I wanted to do the, um, the, uh, the benchmark test. So you guys can see that over there. I'm just gonna turn it off now, and I can still, uh, you know, so I can go back to my own stuff. I have some other things to do as well, and uh, I hope this would be enough that you guys can see again it's RTX on everything is at ultra high uh, 1080p resolution with 100% rendering and there's your reviews guys uh, do comment for anything that you might have in mind or anything else you will want me to do I will definitely try my best as soon as I get some more time and I will try to do it and upload it for you thanks